And tonight, the search for a missing Stockton woman comes to a horrific end at a Modesto home. Parts of her body found in pieces and burned. Hi, everybody. I'm Marley Ginter. And I'm Tony Lopez. CBS 13's Ashley Sharp is live for us tonight, getting answers on the gruesome discovery and how a tip, Ashley, from a concerned citizen helped police crack this case. Yeah, Tony, that's right. Right now, police are not releasing the exact address of this Modesto home where those remains were found. They say to protect the integrity of their continued search and investigation. All we know is that this home was relatively close to the Modesto airport in the greater airport district, somewhat near Yosemite Boulevard, which is just about a half mile from where I'm standing at that home. A horrific discovery. Charred and dismembered remains of a missing Stockton woman found at the Modesto home of Albert Gonzalez. That discovery, thanks to a concerned citizen who called police saying something was off at his home. He had been burning something, and it was a little bit odd what, was, what he was burning to them. Sergeant Veronica Esquivez with the Stanislaus County Sheriff's Office tells CBS 13 that tip led police to what was left of Stephanie Fagundes, a 25 year old last seen by family in October. But we don't know what happened prior to that or when it happened. That search of Gonzalez's home happened on November 18th when Modesto police arrested him for another attack firing shots at a woman in what police call an unrelated assault. That same day, the Stanislaw County Sheriff's Office executed their search warrant. Once Gonzalez was in custody, what they found at his home was a shock. They found body parts. Um, they didn't know if they were human or not. Now, five months later, authorities announced Tuesday, DNA findings confirm the remains are that of Stephanie Fagundes. Gonzalez has been behind bars since his November assault arrest, now facing new charges of murder. Still, there's one final plea. We're just trying to get any type of information to see if there's any other places where their, her body may be at that we can recover for the family. Once again, asking the community to help investigators finish what the first tip started, finding the rest of Stephanie's missing remains. Now, we did reach out to multiple family members of Stephanie Fagundes today to try and speak with them about the six month long search for her now coming to a heartbreaking end. We have not yet heard back.